Hello booktube, i uh, got a, another bookshelf tour with you, for you again today, uh, this is going to be the second shelf of the non-fiction, this is kind of just general non-fiction, and uh, yeah, I hope you like these, and here it goes. So, uh, I, Tina, autobiography of Tina Turner, I'm just going to try and whip through these quite quickly, just because other videos are quite long, but uh, I'll talk about a couple books that I know more about, but otherwise I'll just whip right through them. Uh, <clears throat> Hank Greenberg, The Hero of the Heroes, uh, is Hank Greenberg, uh, first American Jewish superstar, uh, also his nickname, one of the nicknames was Hank, the, the Hebrew Hammer, sorry, um, he was, uh, uh, played from 1930 to 1947, which also included, uh, 47 months of, uh, military service, including active in World War II, um, it's quite the feat. There's quite there's that generation of baseball players that lost significant playing time due to World War II, um, but I think his military career was slightly longer than a lot of them. And uh, yeah, he was also um, one of the only opposing players to publicly uh, welcome Jackie Robinson to the league. And I think Jackie Robinson came into the league on his last season, so. Yeah, because he, he did face a lot of anti-Semitism, uh, being the pretty much only Jewish player in a time that was rife with anti-Semitism. And that leads us nicely into these other two books that are next to it, which is a very thematic, uh, con consistent, co continuous consistency that doesn't at all exist in any of my other part of my bookshelves. And um, this is Ricky and, Rob Ricky and Robinson. And that's written by Roger Kern. Uh, it's just about the relationship between Branch Rickey, owner of the Dodgers, and uh, Jackie Robinson, obviously the first black player in uh, Major League Baseball. And another player of uh, that integration period, uh, Buck O'Neill. I was right on time. I think he was, um, he played, but I think he was also more known for uh, being manager then in a third of the uh, Kansas City Monarchs, one of the great ne Negro baseball teams. And then um, I think he worked as a scout in the, in the um, I think he worked as a scout in the, the major leagues, but he played with some of the greatest uh, players of all time, like Satchel Paige and Josh Gibson. <laughs> Empire of Deception, this is one of those great uh, financial crimes from the old, uh, I think the 30s. Basically, uh, it's about the Bernie Madoff of that period, and that was written by Dean Job. Europe Reshaped, uh, 1848 to 1878 by uh, J.S. Grenville. Uh, this is from a fair time ago, I believe. This is from 1976. Um, yeah, I just don't know much about European history. It's shocking. I don't really know much about a lot of history. <laughs> my um, my his history in school was quite limited to World War One, World War II, um, a little bit of Victorian medicine, weirdly enough. Um, couple bits about the poor law and corn wars and stuff that I don't remember super well and uh, maybe a touch, touch, slight touch on communist China and in lead up to World War Two. I don't know, it wasn't, it wasn't the greatest but I love history, reading about history as an adult so I don't do as much as I like to though but I would like to do more. Um, Odette by Jared Tickles is a biography of one of the great uh, female spies uh, for uh, the OSS. Um, a lot of them had horrific circumstances in which they joined the spy networks, such as OSS and others, and then a lot of them did, a lot of them got captured by the Gestapo and stuff, and, and so, uh, significant torture and just did not follow them, they just, they were very tough, um, not enough is known, this is, uh, Odette's a very famous one, but, um, there are so many more, there's such a great, um, network of female spies, and, and also just, 
a lot of females in the friend, in the resistance that just aren't given uh, enough kudos, and without them, the the war effort would have have not been the same. A lot of intelligence and uh, sabotage that really helped help the uh, the troops. <laughs> This is Notoria, Notorious Victoria by uh, Mary Gabriel. Um, this is about the, I think the first female who ran for president. Uh, that's pretty much all I know about it. Look forward to reading that. Pictures for Hawk by uh, Helen MacDonald. Uh, very, very famous book. Uh, won the Samuel Johnson Prize for Nonfiction in 2014. Uh, not a, every, like, so many people love this book, and it also goes with a recent, uh, very recent purchase I got, which was the T. E. White, uh, Gosh Rock book. That's great. This is the, one of my most amazing finds ever. This is uh, the Contiki Expedition, the Four Herrera. Um, and this is, I believe, one of the original... Pressings? Yeah, this is the 14th pressing from 1951, and the original was published in 1948. So it's, yeah, it's, it's fairly close to the original publication date. And uh, for anyone who doesn't know, um, the Contiki expedition was basically um, to prove that, uh, I think it was that Polynesians could get to South America. Um, it was people couldn't believe it and so Thor headed out was just like well I'll do it I'll build a raft that they would have had and I'll, I'll prove that you can that it, you can not only go through these currents but it would survive too and uh, yeah I think the only the only bit of um modern modern from for the 40s um I think he had was radar and it was just literally to help navigate but that wasn't really the point of the, it was to, to show that a craft could, a craft of that uh, time could survive. The navigation wasn't really an issue. Donnie Brasco, I got him into movie with Al Pacino and uh, Johnny Depp. That's pictured. I just got this as a, it's a true story from the FBI agent Joseph D. Bastoni, and it's written by uh, Richard Woodley. Operation, I believe. Just that uh, was a movie. I just picked it up pretty free. Not too bad. Uh, Midnight of Good and Evil. Again, don't know a ton about this. That's by uh, John Burnt. Don't know a ton. Or Burnt. I uh, don't know a ton about this, but um, just made into that fantastic. Was it Clint Eastwood movie with uh, John Cusack? George Orwell. Box vs. Cigarettes. Great little slim book put out by, I think, was it Penguin? Just one of those Penguin Great Idea series that they did. I don't, don't know if they still do these, uh, but it's pretty good. It tells you all the ones on the back, too. It's like Trotsky and Kierkegaard, Ruskin, Nietzsche, Tolstoy, William Morris. Um, but yeah, George Orwell's non-fiction, way better than his fiction. And this is very book. This one's very bookish, actually. Uh, books vs. Cigarettes basically telling you how... Um, Books are quite affordable, and he determines it in, like, most people buy cigarettes, and actually it's much more affordable to read than it is to smoke. And there is also his essay about working in a bookstore, which is great and very uh, understandable. And then there's the stuff about um, kind of patriotism and things like that. And it's still kind of patriotism in the left-wing narrative, I think, you know, stuff like that. Uh, this is the Jazz Age Life of uh, Henrietta Bingham by Emily Bingham, so uh, relative, I believe. Um, and it just, uh, I think it just kind of um, talking about uh, someone that kind of lived through the uh, flapper jazz age, I guess. Uh, the Civil Wars of uh, Julia Ward Howe by Elaine Showalter. This is a book about, uh, I believe it's the woman who wrote, 
that little woman who wrote the um well she's an early pioneering feminist tireless crusader for social reform and women's rights would make uh, would make an ideal pbs series um i thought she was the one that wrote the uh yeah she was also for the battle hymn of the republic oh, no. Early, early American feminist. So that's basically why. Uh, this is a fantastic book that I. Uh, I need to get more books like this. I need to get more uh, kind of books about walking. But this is the man who walked through pain. It's basically about this. I believe he's Welsh. Uh, it's Colin Fletcher, and he's talking about um, his quest to walk the interior of the Grand uh, Canyon. And I believe he was the first person to do it maybe uh, or at least the first person that was documented to walk the entire round there is quite interesting. I need to reread it um it's the noble savage the life of Paul Gauguin by I think a uh, husband and wife duo Lawrence and Elizabeth Hansen and it's illustrated uh, let's see if I can get a picture oh, maybe they don't have any this is illustrated but I don't see any illustrations. Oh, here we go. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's an interesting about Gauguin. Got it up cheap. Um, but it seems a bit dodgy, Noble Savage, but that's a, that's a direct quote from Paul Gauguin. Uh, Rivet Head by Ben Hunt is a famous book about working in a factory. I'm very interested in uh, work, especially manual labor. I, I, I've worked manual labor my whole life. And so, yeah, just very interested in other people's experiences. And especially when it's like not super romanticized. I don't think this is romanticized at all. It's uh, it's pretty hard grueling, grueling. And you just go in, get on with it, and come out and try to forget about it, really. That's kind of more my experience. John Krakenhauer's The Into the Wild, famous. Uh, obviously, that was just in the news the other day because they rem finally they removed this bo uh, boat. Uh, they removed the boss because it was just too many people were heading to it and uh, dying or getting into lots of trouble. So they finally decided just to get rid of it. I'm not sure where they took it to now. I don't think anyone knows right now. Um, this is uh, one of book on one of the greatest scientists by one of the greatest uh, biographers. This is Einstein by Walter Isaacson. This really doesn't need any more explaining. Uh, uh, Eleanor Aquitaine by Alison Weir. Uh, I think at some point I was probably wanting to read a lot more about monarchy in the UK because I know absolutely nothing about the monarchy but I don't know how much that will continue but I haven't read this yet but we'll do it at some point. And then last for the shelf, uh, The Sound of Wings this is, uh, by Mary S. Lavelle. This is, uh, I believe, a biography, just, I believe it's just a pretty straight biography of Amelia Earhart, who is also, uh, I'm quite fascinated by, one of the great pioneers of uh, flight. And obviously her uh, disappearance. Uh, makes it all the more more intriguing but yeah and that's it second shelf of non-fiction so hopefully do another one of these soon and uh have a great day